What's going on, Bruce? I'm going to be giving you my long-term review on the iPhone SE 2. Okay, so I've had this phone for a little bit now. I've had a chance to test it out against some other phones like the iPhone 11, the 10R, the 10S Max, the 7, the 8. I can keep going here. But the bottom line is, you know, is this phone going to be good for like the next two or three years? That's really what I want to talk about. So let's get into it. All right, so we got the SC2 and the iPhone 7. Now, the reason that I'm bringing the iPhone 7 into this long-term review is because I've been using the 7 for about three years now. I'm still using it to this day for, you know, playing games and watching videos. And these two phones are very similar. You know, they've got very similar designs. Um, you know, cameras are pretty much identical on these phones. Screen sizes are the same. Now, price points, obviously, the SC2 is $399 right now. And then, of course, if you want to pick up an iPhone 7, it's like $150. But, you know, I just want to compare these two a little bit to kind of show you that you know it's very likely that the se2 you know if you decide to buy it it's going to be good for at least three years the iphone 7 if you're looking for like a really nice cheap phone right now um it is very similar to the se2 plus you can pick it up for like 150 bucks all right so i'll have some links about the description and comments if you want to check out the latest prices for these phones i'm gonna throw up some netflix on here because i kind of want to run some video do a loudness test a little bit of a gaming test here um also if you guys could smash the like button as you're watching this video and let's get into this from weird to freakish, Katara. You mean I did that? Yep. Congratulations. Okay, you've gone from weird to freakish, Katara. You mean I did that? Yep. Congratulations. <gasps> <gasps> All right, so I found it pretty interesting that there wasn't a whole lot of difference there other than the display looking a little bit better on the SE2. Volume, sound quality, pretty much the same. That's why I paused both phones. But now we're going to do some uh, gaming here on some Street Fighter, so let's do this.
All right, so now I'm gonna get rid of the iPhone 7 and just kind of focus on the SE2 for the rest of this long-term review. Now, you know, the SE2 does have a better processor in it, so it is gonna be a faster phone overall. It's actually got the same processor as the iPhone 11 right now. So when it comes to playing high graphic games, this phone is pretty darn good though. So I'm gonna throw up some COD Mobile here. We're gonna get into a match. Let's uh, zoom in on it a little bit here. Hopefully we can get a first place finish and let's do this.
Keep fighting. All right, guys, so just some closing comments here. You know, I think the SE2 is a solid phone, um, you know, for 400 bucks. I think it'll be good for the next two or three years for sure. But you can also get away with using an iPhone 7 for like the next year or two. That's just my opinion. Anyways, I'll have links in both the description and comments. If you're looking for the lowest prices on iPhones right now, if you guys could smash a like button, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.